Hey guys, let's get more news about Steelers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Cam Hayward hated hearing Steelers will be on hard knocks this season. Whenever it's announced who the next NFL team to be featured on hard knocks will be, it is almost invariably followed by someone associated with that team publicly acknowledging that they hate the idea and wish it wasn't happening. Pittsburgh Steelers defensive lineman Cam Hayward is the latest to do so, saying that he hated the news that his team had been selected as part of an in-season version of Hard Knocks that will follow all four teams in the AFC North. Nick Wright considering shaving head again, insists hair is real, I hated it. I don't want to be on this, Hayward said on the Not Just Football podcast when asked what his initial reaction was to the news. The highly decorated NFL star is concerned about the way the show might impact the Steelers' locker room dynamics, citing that sometimes the show highlights conversations and jokes that lack necessary context. The locker room is the locker room, and I just don't want that getting messed up. There's so many inside jokes, so many people, Hayward said. There's so many people, like, you would assume everybody's a jerk if you heard everything but it comes from a loving place, and it comes from a caring place. We all want to be better, and we joke a lot. We poke and prod at each other, but it doesn't always come off that way. And so, that's the only thing I really worry about. The 35-year-old and six-time pro bowler is entering the final year of a four-year deal with Pittsburgh. That could be a running discussion point on the show as well. AFC North Rankings, Quarterback in 2023, despite all the injuries and setbacks, every team in the AFC North finished with a winning record. Three qualified for the playoffs and the Baltimore Ravens made it to the AFC Championship. Heading into 2024, it's poised to once again be the most competitive division in the NFL. In an effort to help handicap this field competing for the AFC North crown, this is a ranking of individual position groups. Quarterback is the most important position in professional sports and the AFC North has two of the best in the league, between Lamar Jackson and Joe Burrow. It's the reason why so many prognosticators have projected the Cincinnati Bengals and Ravens to win the division. It's smart to bet on the top quarterback to make up for the deficiencies the rest of the roster might have. If that wasn't reason enough, the Bengals and Ravens have won the division crown five of the last six years. The other division winner was the Pittsburgh Steelers in 2020. Both the Steelers and Cleveland Browns have talented signal callers, but there are more questions than answers at this point between inconsistency and injury. Last year, the Steelers made the postseason with a completely different quarterback room that did little to help their cause. Meanwhile, Watson only appeared in six games for the Browns. In other words, both teams were strong enough to qualify for the postseason without franchise quarterback play. If either team is able to maximize their talent at the quarterback position and get a higher level of play, they are threats not just to compete in the division but a threat in the playoffs. It's not simply the starting quarterback, but the entire room that is up for consideration. Between the injury history as well as the fact the Steelers could feature a training camp battle for the starting job, that is important. The best quarterback in this division boils down to whether Joe Burrow or Lamar Jackson stays healthy. Jackson was better in 2023, but the reason the Bengals finish ahead of them is depth. Burrow has the capacity to be a top-five quarterback in any given season. The problem is that he's also just as likely to get injured. Last year, the Bengals found a capable backup in Jake Browning. Browning has limitations. He struggles under pressure, which shines a spotlight on his middling physical tools. Browning also had issues against trap coverages, making some terrible reads that led to interceptions. Nevertheless, Browning trusted the Bengals' premier receivers and was able to make plays down the field. If he's allowed to operate on time, Browning has shown the capacity to pick a defense apart. The Bengals don't want to be put in a position where Browning has to play an extended period of time, but if they are in a position where Burrow is out for a game or few, Browning has the capacity to keep the team on track. 
The Bengals will go as far as Burrow takes them, but if the division boils down to a game or two, having Browning could give them edge. Steelers' Russell Wilson has a promising chance to reunite with Seattle WR, we have been speaking with my agent. The Pittsburgh Steelers' only clear hole on the roster comes at the wide receiver position. The organization traded away Deontay Johnson and released Allen Robinson II during the 2024 offseason, making the team desperate for a number two receiver. Pittsburgh has been enthralled in trade rumors that have been connected to some star wideouts from across the league, and they could be interested in bringing in one of Russell Wilson's old targets from his time with the Seattle Seahawks. Russell Wilson tries to evade Cameron Hayward during a game against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Wilson had a special bond with a lot of receivers during his time in Seattle. Some were obvious, like DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett and Doug Baldwin. However, some were under the radar, like former seventh-round pick John Urshua. Urshua played for the Seahawks for three seasons from 2019 through 2021, but only recorded one career reception. He still works out with Wilson to this day, and Urshua recently went on the sick podcast Steelers Crazy, where he shared there is a chance he'll be in Latrobe for training camp. After these two or three opportunities I've had to train with Russ, we have been speaking again with my agent and with Pittsburgh. So, I'm kind of crossing my fingers and hoping that I can kind of provide. Me and Russ have a lot of chemistry, so I think it would make a lot of sense. But, we're going to have to wait and see, and hopefully I can get that little workout and an invite to camp or something. Urshua didn't produce much on the offensive side of the ball during his time with Seattle, but he built up a reputable chemistry with Wilson during his time with the Seahawks. So much so, that he still gets the opportunity to run routes with Wilson during the offseason. Urshua and Metcalf were catching balls from Wilson earlier this week, with training camp just around the corner. Seattle Seahawks wide receiver, DK Metcalf, number 14, catches a touchdown over Pittsburgh Steelers safety, Terrell Edmonds, number 34, at Heinz Field back in 2019. This throwing session obviously brings back some rumors about a possible trade between Pittsburgh and Seattle, which would reunite Wilson and Metcalf. However, the most outcome that is most likely would be Urshua being brought into camp. He said his agent has been in talks with the Steelers already, and it is quite possible that Wilson is also pushing for Urshua to be brought in. The Steelers' receiver room is crowded, but outside of George Pickens and Roman Wilson, there are a lot of question marks. Pittsburgh could use some depth at slot receiver, and Urshua could provide with his chemistry with Wilson being an added benefit. If Urshua does get brought it, it would take a lot for him to make the final roster. He is 30 years old and hasn't seen much success in the league. Pittsburgh would be taking a real chance on the receiver. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of DK Metcalf? Leave your opinion in the comments.